Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In today's video, we are having one very, very interesting question from algebraic expressions. Here we have to evaluate the expression 1 over x cube minus 3 over x. Let's call E. If x is given to us. So let's get started by considering x as 1 plus 7th root of 2 plus 7th root of 4 can we write 2 square plus 7th root of 8. 8 is 2 cube plus 7th root of 16 which will be 2 power 4 plus 7th root of 32 2 power 5 it is plus 7th root of 2 power 6 64. Now I will use one exponential property a power b whole power c. Any time we can write a power c whole power b. Let's swap the powers. So x can be written as 1 plus 7th root of 2 plus 7th root of 2 whole square plus 7th root of 2 whole cube plus 7th root of 2 whole power 4 plus 7th root of 2 whole power 5 and 7th root of 2 whole power 6. Now let us assume 7th root of 2 is equal to a. So we can write x as 1 plus a plus a square plus a cube plus a power 4 plus a power 5 plus a power 6. Now we can find out this sum value using two ways binomial expansion method or geometric progression method. Let us see both. So I will write method number 1. I am using binomial expansion method. For this I need to write this identity first. So a power n minus b power n. It is equal to a minus b times a power n minus 1 plus a power n minus 2 times b plus and so on. Last term which we will write b power n minus 1. Now as per our problem n will be equal to 7 and b will be equal to 1. So I can write a power 7 minus 1. This will be equal to a minus 1. In second bracket we can write a power 6 plus a power 5 plus a power 4 plus a cube plus a square plus a plus 1. Now this is our x. So I will apply a is equal to 7th root of 2 our substitution. So I can write 7th root of 2 whole power 7 minus 1 equal to 7th root of 2 minus 1 times x. Now 7th root and power 7 will be over. So 2 minus 1 equal to 7th root of 2 minus 1 times x. So 1 is equal to 7th root of 2 minus 1 times x. So x we can write 1 over 7th root of 2 minus 1. This is using binomial expansion. Now we can find out the same sum using geometric progression also. Let us see. So I will write x first. 1 plus 7th root of 2 plus 7th root of 2 whole square plus so on. Last term I will write 7th root of 2 whole power 6. This is finite geometric progression whose sum formula we know it is as per formula a times r raised to the power n minus 1 over r minus 1 
mod r is greater than 1. So as per formula, our a or first term, let me write here, first term, it is equal to 1. Common ratio r will be 7th root of 2. And total number of terms, 7. So we can write, sum s which will be equal to x as per our problem equal to 1 times 7th root of 2 whole power 7 minus 1 divided by r minus 1 so 7th root of 2 minus 1 now this 7th root and power 7 will be over numerator will be 1 only Denominator will be 7th root of 2 minus 1. And this is using geometric progression. Now sum is ready. Now we have to evaluate our expression 1 over x cube minus 3 over x. Let me write here. x is equal to 1 over 7th root of 2 minus 1. Take reciprocal both sides. So 1 over x will be equal to 7th root of 2 minus 1. Add 1 to both sides. So 1 over x plus 1. It will be equal to 7th root of 2. Now I will consider squaring both sides. So let me write here power 2. And let me write here power 2. Now, from RHS, if I will write, it will be equal to 7th root of 2 is square, we can write, which will be equal to 7th root of 4. Left hand side, A plus B whole square formula, I will write 1 over x square plus 2 over x plus 1 equal to 7th root of 4. Take away 1 from both sides. So I can write 1 over x square plus 2 over x. This will be equal to 7th root of 4 minus 1. Let us consider this is our equation number 1. Now I will consider cubing of the same equation. So I will write 1 over x plus 1 equal to 7th root of 2 whole cube both sides. Let me write here 1 over x plus 1 is equal to 7th root of 2. Now I will consider cubing both sides. So power 3, power 3. Using exponential property, I can consider this is 7th root of 2 cube, which will be equal to 7th root 8. Now left hand side I will apply a plus b whole cube formula. So it will become 1 over x cube plus 3a square b. So 3 over x square plus 3ab square. So 3 over x plus b cube. So 1 which will be equal to 7th root of 8. Now take away 1 from both sides. So 1 over x cube plus 3 over x square plus 3 over x. This will be equal to 7th root of 8. Now this is our equation number 2 I will call. Now let me write our equation 1. 1 over x square plus 2 over x, this was equal to 7th root of 4 minus 1. This was our equation 1. Now I will multiply our second equation or first equation, see equation number 1 by 3 both sides. So let us multiply by 3. So I can write 3 by x square plus 6 over x. This will be equal to 3 times 
seventh root of 4 minus 1. Now let me call this is my equation number 3. Now you can see I will subtract third equation from 2. Now perform this operation 2 minus 3. So our 3 minus x square this term will be over and 3 over x minus 6 over x will give us our required expression 1 over x cube minus 3 over x. Let us perform this operation. So I will write here 1 over x cube minus 3 over x directly. So I will write 1 over x cube minus 3 over x. This will be equal to I will write 7th root of 8 minus 1 and then I will write minus 3 times 7th root of 4 minus 1. Let's simplify 7th root of 8 minus 1 minus 3 times 7th root of 4 plus 3. So 3 minus 1 is 2. So our final answer will be 7th root of 8 minus 3 times 7th root of 4 plus 2. This will be our required expression value. And this is the end of this video. Thank you friends for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care of yourself. Goodbye.